Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. So, as requested by everybody and demanded from a very long time, I have my juniors from Price University Lavasa campus. So, Mohit and Valerina, welcome and thank you so much for doing this. For all those who are watching this video, uh, just make sure you watch this video till the very end so that whatever doubts or any questions or assumptions you have about Lavasa, we will be bursting all the myths and they both will be sharing their experience. So without wasting any time, let's just try to get started. Uh, Mohit and Valerina, one by one, I would want you guys to introduce yourself. Uh, so my name is Mohit, as you all know, uh, and uh, I am from Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh, and currently I am pursuing BBA with specialization in business analytics from Lavasa campus. First of all, I'd like to say thank you so much, Kavich, for having both the first year. We are happy to be here. Introducing myself as Kavach Alti did, uh, my name is Valerina Clayton and along with Mohit Vivin, I am studying or pursuing my uh, Bachelor's in Business Administration, specializing in Business Analytics from Christ Lavasa campus. And uh, I'm from Navi Mumbai, so Lavasa is pretty close to me. So, yeah, that's all about me. All right, that's great. So now uh, you both are in your second year going towards your third year. So you guys are the senior most batch in Lavasa for this particular course called BBA Analytics. I know like Lavasa has become like the analytical hub of Christ University. But I genuinely want to know from both of you people, uh, why did you guys choose up Lavasa? Like it is a pilot batch. So why did you guys take the risk? What was the reason of going behind it? One one reason will also be fine. Mohit, you can start. Uh, all right. So uh, my main reason behind choosing Lavasa initially was the city because when I went for the first time uh, to Lavasa, I loved the city and it was pretty different at that time. I went in 2014 and it was beautiful. So at that time, this building was under con uh, construction, a uh, college building. So uh, then I thought, yeah, uh, if there is a college, yeah, I would surely want to visit and study here and spend my uh, graduation life here. But uh, uh, yeah, fast forwarding to 2019, I applied here. Uh, and got in and uh, when I uh, went uh, so uh, one of the main reason uh, for joining Lavasa campus was also uh, the brand name of Kais uh, as we have heard that Kais is one of the top uh, business school for undergraduation uh, throughout India so that was one of the major reasons too and uh, we have we uh, have heard that we have heard at that time that uh, the, there was uh, post graduation already started from 2003 and it was going pretty good. So, one of the main reasons for that, uh, for joining uh, Christ, uh, was that too in Lavasa. So, these were the main reasons for which I took admission in Lavasa, and uh, it's it's safe to say that, yeah, it was a good decision for okay. Lavasa. Valerina, what about you? Well, I completely agree with Mohit, first off. Uh, Lavasa is a pretty beautiful place, a beautiful city. Uh, the reason that I give, um, that I chose Lavasa, I'll be honest, Lavasa was not my uh, first option or anywhere close to any other options that I had in mind for my bachelor's. Uh, but um, uh, I got the opportunity, I was selected um, uh, in Lavasa campus. I have been to Lavasa before on a school trip since I'm from Mumbai. I saw the place, I was very fascinated with the environment, the nature, the calm environment and uh, any student would love it. Now it depends on your personality also. So yeah and another important thing that uh, pulled me towards um, choosing Lavasa for my bachelor's was its unique course. So there are very few colleges in uh, India that uh, provide your bachelor's in business an analytics and Lavasa is one of them, Christ Lavasa is one of them, so it's, okay. uh, it's a good option. Yes. Right, uh, both Mohit and Valerina talking about like analytics, like so what is the hype around like Christ University being the analytical hub? What is, how is, like I see I as like from like somebody who's worked in like Constant Young everything, I know that Analytics plays a huge role, like data analytics is everything. Data is the new oil, it's just there everywhere, anywhere. So I still genuinely want to know how has your experience been about studying data analytics? I mean, there are master courses also in this particular field, but what about BBA decision, like BBA data analytics? How has your experience been? How is the faculty there for this particular course and how do they go about every other So, um, 
starting with the course uh, we are trained right up we are thought right up from our first sem about uh, analytic subjects like uh, we've had you know excel applied excel we have a lot of uh, industry experience also we have uh, tie ups with uh, modis and eduh pro you know they come they teach us they give us actual industrial experience we work with data from the start and um, talking about the faculty uh, since uh, we are just you know beginning it's just a new college come up we are the first we were the first uh, uh, batch i say the peer faculty connect was uh, you were very close our faculty knew every student in class so that's something yeah, uh, huge colleges would not have faced you know faculty knowing each student personally and since we are all uh, you know lavasa is such a small town uh, we are going we, we go to the market to buy stuff we see our faculty members there also buying stuff you know a little personal interaction with them so uh, that's been amazing and uh, faculty is very friendly i say uh, every college has their ups and downs it goes about but other than that uh, it is good it is good we had a if we had a few issues with certain faculty members uh, not being that interactive but uh, we put the word to management and uh, they saw to it that this issue was solved and uh, wow. yeah we were happy with the results later uh, valina covered most of the points yeah so yeah that's what i wanted to the point that i wanted to highlight was that uh, even if you are joining lavasa and you Uh, a class is finding any of the faculty that is not you know working for them specifically so they can uh, always approach the faculty uh, that is responsible for you know managing the st- uh, teaching staff and uh, you can uh, easily you know uh, get them replaced basically okay uh, yeah. if you are having it yeah. uh, guys now i mean i'll get to like the disadvantages wagera wala part later but i genuinely want to know how is your routine like on a weekday at lavasa what time do you wake up what do you do after that and you know how does the day go about well as soon as he spoke about daily routine i just looked at mohit and i thought of the time that we wake up when we were actually in lavasa <laughs> well our college our uh, class college hour began at 9:15 and i think our being a christ student you know how it is when you know Definitely. you have to be punctual in christ so you know we had a hostel uh, uh, rooms our hostel pathways going hey why oh my god all rushing to college all making it on time before 9:15 or was 9:14 everybody have to be in and come to our daily routine it depends from person to person we spend uh, most of our afternoons in college uh, we used to get done by 4:30 and um, Uh, after 4:30 some all who are in, involved in cultural events or maybe business events events that's taking yes. place in college we used to spend another 2 3 hours there so let's take uh, 8 8:30 then okay. uh, uh, then going to the lake side you must have seen lavasa such a beautiful city you need to take a stroll every day near the lake side okay it's, it's a must mohit is agreeing with me and uh, getting back you can spend your hours in in the library come back to the hostel or wherever you you're staying out uh and yeah that's 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 it that's the daily okay. routine that's, that's, that's like a pretty, pretty normal christ routine uh one yeah. important thing uh, both here i want both of you to answer is about the hostel facility and everything regarding food stay everything because see a lot of parents will be watching this and uh, one of the reasons why people don't want to send like some of their kids or somebody to lavasa is because they're not really sure of how is the boarding lodging there food all of that so both for boys and girls is it like inside the campus outside the campus can you stay alone can you stay in some apartment all of those things mohit you can start uh, all right so i'll be uh, talking about the boys hostel uh, so uh, i mean uh even my parents had uh, some doubt uh, whether the hostel facility and the food, uh, food facility will be you know up to the mark or not but uh, i can say that uh, the hostel which we have in lavasa couldn't be any safer i mean all the safety precautions is taken by the uh, college facility there uh, so there is biometric system so every morning uh, before uh, there was stipulated time i am not able to recall it so before that you have to put your thumb impression there and you know and at night uh, before 10 you have to uh, give your attendance so if you are uh, if you miss your attendance you will have to pay fine for every uh, uh, thumb impression that you miss that is 100 rupees so that was pretty good yeah 
and uh, after 10:30 the gates would close and if you are outside the gate after 10:30 you will have to you know find another place to stay <laughs> because uh, at any cost they won't be able to open the gates of course so in my time also when the boys had joined the christ university hostel i didn't join but some of them did and one night they missed a deadline by like 5 minutes all of them slept on the footpath okay so okay <laughs> what else what else more about the hostel yeah uh, i'm talking about food so uh, uh, there's a choice for lunch uh, for breakfast and lunch you can always have it uh, in our uh, campus and that is college campus yeah and for dinner uh, you, there are uh, small restaurants and food delivery services that you can you know either call up or go to for having food so it's it's pretty nice and you know some people might think that uh, roz bar khane se i, I mean ऐसा रोज रोज कहा चलेगा बाहर का बट द फूड देर समेसेस सर्व फूड लाइक यू नो दैट फील्स लाइक होम या इट्स प्रेटी बेसिक एंड हेल्थी सो द फूड देर इज ऑल्सो प्रेटी नाइस एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट हैव जंक फूड सो देर आर टू प्लेसेज देर हैपीज एंड बैंकी सो यू कैन ऑलवेज गो देर फॉर जस्ट टू जस्ट टू प्लेसेस एक्चुअली थ्री Like if you go for the typical. Okay, go away. Let's not debate over that. Uh, Valentina, what's what's the scene with the girls' hostel? Well, girls' hostel. Um, so now, uh, when we were uh, uh, in college, I'd say when we were there in two thousand and nineteen, the hostel building was the same for boys as well as girls. So I think there were two floors for the girls and two floors for the boys. but uh, this year since the new batch has come and you know another batch is coming they have changed the hostel facilities or the building the premise i'll say so the entire building that was previously the entire hostel for boys and girls is now become only girls so you've got the first second third fourth and fifth floor only for the girls and uh, boys uh, they they've been moved outside they have uh, villas for themselves villas and flats throughout uh, the city Okay. The boys' hostel. That's like yeah, owned by Christ. Yeah. It's not owned by Christ, but uh, Christ has taken uh, it for the particular duration. Maybe some are owned, but I'm not, not quite sure about that. But yes, uh, till you are in the boys' hostel, uh, you have just have to pay the hostel fees, and you don't have to take into consideration the other thing. Coming to the girls' hostel, as Mohit already said, biometrics, your entry matters. You know your punctuality coming into the hostel, getting out, and um, about food, he's already mentioned. We uh, do have a lot of uh, food facilities. I'd say one point about food is I know a lot of people will have problems. We all, all of us are just seventeen, eighteen when we come to uh, you know when we get out of our houses. Many of you all are used to home food, you know, mama ka hath ka khana, and it gets difficult, you know, when you come to hostel. You, it's either you make, you know, you making your own food or eating outside. So one point to all those who are watching this video is, uh, you kind of have to learn to adjust with whatever is there. You cannot crave. I am really sorry. We have been doing that. But this one two years have made us realize. Whenever you go back home, just relish your mom's food. <laughs> But when you're in Lavasa, either learn to cook. There are other facilities. I'm not saying that you know you will die of hunger. We have a lot of places you can eat at. Um, and yeah, that's it. Mohit, very well said. Okay. All about so, Valerina, is the girls' hostel inside the campus or is it outside also, just like for boys? No. uh the girls hostel is just 2 minutes away so from the campus you can uh, you can see the girls hostel okay. as well as from the hostel you can see the campus so it's just a 2 minute walk okay and what about you not Where that far where are these and apartments yeah. like are they far from uh, the christ university campus or how are they it varies uh, i mean there are many flats and uh, villas in uh, the entire lavasa so it varies you want to take the flat and it basically is served on first come first from basis okay. first come first served basis so if you have booked a, a flat or a villa near the college uh, you are lucky and if you were, if you were late so it will be a bit far but not that far because lavasa itself is very small so right. it will be walking anyways basis. like do you do you guys just walk to the campus all the time like 5 minutes 10 yeah, minutes yeah, yeah 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 okay walk to the campus yes all right Now this is this all is done. Coming to now the disadvantages of the campus. So basically, last year also I had gotten in touch with your batchmates only, and when they told me a lot of disadvantages, and I put up that video. Uh, but I want to hear it from your. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not a bed of roses, right? 
uh, there are going to be some things that you might not have liked, like dislike, whatever. Uh, shoot it up one by one. Um, I'd say the disadvantage of uh, you choosing Lavasa over other colleges is uh, how far away it is from the main city. So. Lavasa is a hill station, so the nearest city is Pune, and it's almost an hour or maybe even more one and a half hour drive down to Pune city. It gets difficult. It really is, you know, those who aren't um, um, uh, who do, can't uh, travel much, you might not like this. Yeah, I'd say that's the biggest advantage we all are facing. Some who are um, you know they love the hill station life. They like to be stagnant at one place. You know, stay at one place. You will find Lavasa amazing. I'm one of them. I find Lavasa amazing. But uh, if you're a city freak, you need to see people. A lot of people. You need to go out shopping. You need to. You know, uh, you have a, a, a great social life, a huge social life, which requires a lot of mingling with a lot of people. Then uh, you may have a little issue. But I think after a year or year or few months, you'll be able to cope up with that. Also. Even I am that kind of person who likes to stay in Lavasa. There are many students uh, who like to visit Pune uh, on the weekends, every weekend. And there is a facility provided by our college itself, a uh, bus facility. So uh, every weekend on Sunday, uh, the bus will leave for Pune uh, in the morning, and they'll get you back uh, from Pune uh, in the evening around four or five. So they leave you at the mall, the Phoenix Market City. Yeah. So and they'll collect you from there itself. Okay. Phoenix in Pune is pretty good. I have been there. But yeah. you just tell me. I, I mean, now I'm not countering you, but you guys are BBA grads, and you know BBA doesn't have a lot of studies. It's just about more talking to people, learning skills, all of that. So don't you feel that you guys being in a metro city would have helped you even better than being in like Lavasa? I uh, I agree with your point, but at the same time, I want to disagree too. See, uh, we are in a world where technology is fast. It's too fast. You know, you can make connections online. LinkedIn is such a platform where uh, you don't know a person, but you see his profile. You want to connect, and that's how you start a conversation. You get to build your network. And as you said, network for us business students is uh, very important. And um, I, I. I feel Lavasa is a little secluded. It's far away from the city, but our college is providing us with a lot of facilities, as you know, of any college with uh, being so far away from the city can do. So they they get in. Um, we have a lot of events. We have a lot of cultural business events. We get to experience what other colleges also do. And um, about networks, as I said, it's on this, uh, on a particular student. If you want to build your life, if you want to build your network, get onto LinkedIn. You can find other ways on how you can build your network. There is one thing that uh, if we want to apply for internships, so uh, our college is providing that too. But if you don't get into that, so we haven't uh, you know uh, experienced any of the on-campus internships yet because of COVID. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's pretty good. I'll get to the placements part in a bit, but I'm still not more satisfied. Like I think there are more disadvantages to like Lavasa. Number one, I I mean I was talking to one of the people. I mean, do you know about some people like who felt really sad and or homesick being in Lavasa? So yes, what happened there? Yes. So uh, since childhood, I haven't been away from my parents. So moving to Lavasa was the first move out of my house. So yeah. Uh, uh, a month or two were pretty rough for me because I had no friends there, and you know I'm kind of an introvert, so I had tough time making friends. So I missed my home very much, very much. I mean, the first two two, uh, two days uh, after my parents left, I cried. So uh, after yeah, then yeah, uh, once you start making friends, you you know you start having a life in college. You start getting busy with the work that uh, uh, teachers give you, the assignments, uh, the exams. Uh, you forget. Uh, in I mean, it will take you around a month or one and a half month, and you start to gel with Lavasa campus. It's okay. pretty nice. Yeah. yeah, I mean, looking at like the good parts about Lavasa. Like to, yeah, go for it. I like to add a point to what Mohit said about you know you. Uh, even though 
you know lavasa is a college so far away so we are only in that small city and you many of the other people also would say that we you you know what do you all do you know uh, what is there for you all to do in lavasa other than go to college and just roam near the lake side but uh, we spend most of our time in college cuz our college stays to that that uh, you know we are always busy we are always doing something or the other so that we are never you know uh, i won't say we are never left with nothing to do we are never bored okay so we if, if we have set of culture done then we have another set of uh, business events let's say when business events are done we have another set assignments then exam so we'll be busy so that yeah, that's the plus point and yeah. we have a lot of sports activities that you can offer that is i think that comes in like the christ package when i keep saying it in every video but it is that they will keep the kids busy no matter which place that is in but uh, one more thing like i was another talking to another student how is the scene with rain like one of when i was talking to them they said that it just rained every time and it becomes so sad and monotonous uh, and like gloomy also because you know with rains are attached with gloominess so what do you think about it like is it like too much rains and how do you manage and cope with it and if you have some suggestions for that yeah so rainy season you know it's pretty subjective it depends on the person if you like rain you'll you'll have a ball in lavasa because it rains continuously uh, uh, for around you know Two to three months, and without stopping, uh, very, very, you know. Uh, in some cities, it's like, थोड़ा अभी बारिश होगा, हाँ, अब रुक जाएगा, थोड़ा थोड़ा करके बारिश, वहाँ थोड़ा थोड़ा रुकता है, और बारिश होता रहता है, ऐसा है वहाँ. So, <laughs> so it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, I like rain, I like rainy season. So it's 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 nice for me. But if you are, you know, uh, a person who is not into uh, monsoon or something, so you might find it difficult. And yeah, it does get difficult because the rain there is very heavy. I mean, uh, according Yeah, as compared to a, a normal city, uh, the rain there is pretty, pretty heavy and windy. So it might get a bit difficult, but then it's a you know it's a matter of two to three months max. Uh, after which you will be comfortable. I I not I'd say not even two to three months. So we have July to August as our rainy vacation. We do not have the summer vacations as normal colleges do. We have the rainy vacation because we are from okay. a city which rains so heavily. So I'd say if you are going home in the month of July, August, where it rains very heavily, you get to skip the rainy season if you are not a rainy person. So, so it's only the start of the rains, as in June, till you're done with your rains. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think that's a good decision by the management itself. Like, they, like you know, for others, it's just yeah. like the vacation is from April mid till like June. For you guys, it's July. So that's that's great. All right. One thing is covered. Uh, one last. Like in terms of disadvantages, I feel. What do you guys do on like Saturday nights? There is no pubs or bars. I mean, I don't know about bars, but there are pretty. I'm pretty sure there are no party places. So, what do you guys do? Is it like house parties? You do? How do you chill and relax with your classmates? What do you do? Because if you, I don't think so. Like they would allow like uh, boys to be in girls' hostel and girls to be in boys' hostel. So how do you guys manage with that? Coming to parties and pubs and all. Yes, I do agree. We have nothing over there, and. Um, Parties, as you said, we do have a lot of house parties. So you you get an option to uh, move out of the hostel after your first year, or maybe even from the start. So many of these, uh, many of the students, uh, they already have their group formed before you know getting into the college. So they take their uh, house, they take their villas, they uh, you know rent it out, uh, not from college, uh, through their own connections. And they throw parties. Yeah, whoever wants to enjoy, I'll tell you this: they will find means to enjoy. <laughs> Even if it's a place where you don't have pubs, if you want to enjoy, you will find means to enjoy. Okay, so like in general, it's just uh, weekdays you work hard. On weekdays you also chill in like the market and the lakes and stuff. Weekends you go crash at somebody's place and enjoy there. And Sundays, if you want, you go to Pune and that's how you live your life. So that's fine. That's good. Cool. Now one last question that I have before I leave you guys or you know uh, before I leave you guys is what is the scene with placements and everything now because you guys are the pilot batch so I mean I'm there's nobody above you who's been placed and plus you guys have taken like a very unique like BBA data analytics as a course and a lot of other courses are also there related to analytics at Lavasa campus you know for masters or for undergrad so what's the scene happening with placements because third year your placement should be starting by now uh yeah so a part of the question has already been answered by you that we are the pilot batch and we are the first batch that will be getting placements in lavasa so uh uh we haven't uh, actually had an exposure yet or we haven't seen people getting placed before us so we will be the first batch 
and uh, the coming to the analytics part so yes uh, the college will be you know inviting companies that are related to data science and al- analytics to uh, to our campus and we will give interviews and get placed there we haven't been told which companies will uh, be coming to our uh, college campus but yeah that's basically it uh, i'd like to add some more points to what mohit said so uh Uh, our internships are going on so we have to begin our internships when we have our uh, a rainy vacation that's july to august so many of uh, our college is offering us companies that want uh, intern specify you know with roles specific to business analytics so our college is providing us with those opportunities uh, yes it's only going to be a few students that selected but i feel that's how it you know it works that's how right uh, getting internships and jobs Uh, uh, another point about placements. Yeah, we still have no clue what's going to happen for us being the first uh, batch ever in Lavasa. But uh, I've heard from our um, seniors, as in our master's degree students, that they get an opportunity to go to Bangalore. So when uh, the Bangalore campuses have their placement uh, interviews and all, some of our students who want to apply for those companies. they are given given chance to go to bangalore so i feel uh, maybe something like that may happen to us we have no clue as of yet we are just hoping for the best and uh, as soon as we get any info we'll get in touch with you cover this is the thing okay no <laughs> but can, i mean let's be really it. frank i think that positive on like lavasa's placements why i feel like that is because i mean analytics is an amazing course and you yourself are saying like people from moody and stuff are coming to teach you analytics like our programming and whatever you guys are studying for analytics so if these people are already visiting campus i mean i don't think so they will not mind like you know they won't they won't mind sending some placement offers like you know at least maybe like to some batch people last question i'm really sorry i'm before sorry. before gavash i'm sorry yeah. to interrupt before you uh, so uh, moody's is already you know providing us with internships in their uh, a company so some of the people are selected from uh, a subsection of moody's that is edu, edu is pro uh, in which internships based on data analytics and business analytics are being uh, provided to the students so uh, we are still getting internships in that company and so then these people will only give ppos also pre placement offer so uh, we can be relaxed there so i mean yeah. we chill there one last question that i have from both of you people What are some unique things about Lavasa, and what would you want to say to your freshers, like the ones who will be joining the campus, because you are going to be the senior most batch there? So, some unique things, some nobody other than people who stayed in Lavasa can talk about. Go ahead and share some secrets. As many of you all may have heard, Lavasa is a small city. You know, it's a small town. Uh, but aside from being a small town, it's also a hill station. So you have a lot of, you know, all these. Uh, uh nature enthusiast uh it's a very good place for you i have been thanks to all my friends my friend group we go on a lot of treks so we have mountains surrounding us so one day we climb this mountain another day we climb that mountain so it is amazing that people would say it's very risky I, not risky but um, you know they don't want to get out it's such a small town we have nothing to do but if you spend your time wisely you study you to take a little uh, trip to the mountains to the mountain top sometimes uh, we have a lot of river banks also i feel uh, that's something only people who've been to lavasa it is amazing it is great now it depends from person i like just like to end it it depends from person to person if you're a city person who wants a social life i'm not saying you won't have a social life in lavasa when you have your own friend group <laughs> you are going to have fun going here going there making memories but uh, it's it's a lovely place it's a lovely place inclusive of the course inclusive of uh, you know the faculty the college the infrastructure it is it is good yeah so i would like to add that uh, you know uh, if you are not uh, a city freak or you you know you don't mind staying in a hill station like lavasa uh, i guess and even if you are a city freak and you like the you know a uh, fast life you should uh, you should apply for lavasa because the city is very very peaceful uh, if you uh, visit there once i mean you will be hooked uh, so yeah so basically i am a meditative kind of person so uh, if uh, ever i am feeling low or something i would just take a stroll by the lake side or you know as valeria said go on a trek and it's it's very refreshing and you know otherwise what we we'll do in cities is uh, we we get back home we you know 
start using our phones laptops and it's very congested but when you go to lavasa there are many things to do other than this so it's it's brilliant okay that's good guys i think it just covers each and everything that i wanted to know about lavasa i personally feel that it's like a good secluded area like because when i i spent 8 years in a boarding school that was in the hill station and it for us it was nothing but just that we used to get like outings like you guys go to pune we used to be like we used to go to the town so i think that kind of environment provides like an apt environment for studies but i i mean also like looking at the other part of it i feel like you know being in like a city like abhijan bangalore so there were so many events fairs happening like some startup talk some event here or there so we could go there and you can also do that on sundays but yeah that would be i guess one of the disadvantages now but in general let's just see what people make of it and uh, let's just see if, like you know you'll get good souvenirs i guess so yes thank you so much guys for doing this one mohit and valadina we've been trying it from quite some time and luckily we could finish it today and thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video do give it a thumbs up comment below if you have any doubts question queries i'm pretty sure i will reply or mohit or valerina will also be able to do that last but not the least guys please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you guys can receive regular updates of whenever i'm uploading new video all right guys you can also bid them bye and we'll put this video off bye 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 coach bye bye guys bye.